Speeding twice, twice. Speeding twice. Speeding twice. twice. Camera A and B are rolling. This is take one. You know, in the early days of silent film, there were lots of women behind the camera, both writing, directing, and producing. And we, we somehow lost that in the 50s and 60s. So I think it's a great time to reclaim that legacy of uh, women telling stories uh, that come out of their experience that speak into, you know, more than 50% of the population and their life perspective. As a woman in film, there were several challenges I faced from when I first started off as a film student, uh, continuing on to this day. Um, some of the biggest challenges were this idea of what a woman's role was and what a woman was able to do. I was always interested in camera, and so that was something that when I first started going out there and saying, oh, can I assist, um, can I load? A lot of questions were like, well, can you, can you handle the camera? Is it too heavy for you? There's a lot of camera cases. Um, this idea of can a woman actually just even hold a film camera with it weighing you know, 15, 20 pounds or higher, depending on lenses and what the size of the mag was. So kind of having to prove both physical strength. Um, and then interestingly enough, then a lot of times there was issues in terms of well, women would be better being a producer because you're more of a people person. And I'd be like, have you met me? I'm not a people person. <laughs> um, and so I, I think a lot of the preconceived ideas of what women can do, how much they can carry, what their temperament is, all of that kind of comes in when you're a woman and you're interested in working in film in a role that's not kind of seen as a typical female role. So a lot of times, you know, I got pushed towards like, oh, you should produce or don't you want to maybe be a production designer? And it was like, no, I, I want to I want to work with the heavy equipment. I, I want to get involved. I, I want to, you know, have those 14 hour days where I'm carrying around a 25 pound camera like that's fun. And that's why I wanted to get into film. The whole idea of like the moving image. So what I was seeing on campus is a lot of women who didn't feel like they could step up to the plate and like they could talk about themselves confidently and say, hey, I'm the right person for this job and really show off their skills. Um, a lot of men on campus were taking action in their own lives. They had a lot of agency to make films and make silly films, make films they thought were really important. Um, but the same wasn't true for women, and a lot of women wanted to be a part of it, but didn't know how and didn't feel comfortable asking. And so I wanted to create a place where they did feel comfortable and they could come and really feel empowered to take charge in their own lives and their own careers. But yes, uh, I first met Emily Grimes on... <laughs> where did I meet? Miss Maggie Rose? On the set of Spider-Man Absolution. On the set of Spider-Man Absolution. It's amazing that we were able to, uh, it's amazing that on a set like Spider-Man, you're not just only, when you meet new people, you're not just connecting as film students, but you already have this automatic connection of everybody on set loves Spider-Man. I mean, like you get on a set like that and you already know that all of you guys are a community of nerds coming together to make nerdy stuff. And so the fact that I got to uh, start off my friendship with Emily like that, I mean, what better way to start a friendship than with Spider-Man? and uh, on a film set like that. We just got to talking on set one day and came up with the idea for the Women in Film Club. And I mean, the rest is history. We went from key PA and PA to president and vice president to director and first AD. And it's been great to see how this friendship and uh, this working relationship has really blossomed over the last year. I'm thrilled that we uh, finally have a Women in Film Club. It's long overdue. We've always had great, strong women in the department, but they've never had a chance to band together in this way and seek solidarity, think about collaboration, and think about the kinds of stories that they want to tell and to see. The initial uh, idea when we started the Women in Film Club is to 
really just create this uh, mission statement, this idea and this environment to want to foster a supportive environment for women to come together and just uh, have the confidence to want to write, direct, and create their own uh, content and ideas and their vision because it feels like sometimes we just don't have uh, that confidence to want to stand up and be like, I got this script, let's make it. I'm, I'm a good writer, let's make this script. It's a um, harder and in a more male dominated environment to want to uh, take on bigger roles like that, like um, producing, directing, uh, DPing, editing, anything like that. So we really just want our club to be able to tell women, hey, you got an idea, let's all help each other make it. We want women to be able, we want people, even like freshmen to come into this program and uh, want to have a sense of community with all these women together and wanting to create and write their own uh, content and bring their vision to life and want to be able to stand up and say, I want to write this script. I want to direct this film. I want to DP this film. I want to edit this film or this project or whatever it may be. And the fact that we have been able to create a mission statement like that and be able to preach it everybody to get it out there this past uh, year or so has just been great. Bring it to everybody's attention and create an awareness for that has just been amazing. And to be able to uh, create the Women in Film Club and then ironically have a film set near the end of the year be very uh, women dominated is just great. This is... Oh, are you rolling? Yes. <laughs> Can I draw a heart stop relief? Do I know how to do that? Wait. I have re stuck in my head. Women. Women. Now you have to take both of us doing that. <laughs> you just say that.